Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me a question off one of my videos. Could you not take a PNG file and do that border contour I did before? And you can see it's, it's actually called an event map, but it's a PNG file that I just got off the internet right here. And you can see it's a PNG file clip art. And if we take that item, we, to make the trace work, we have to get rid of this background. Don't have to do anything special, really just trace bed map, outline trace clip art is what I usually use, and it works really good. Uh, the only problem is that some of this white border was making a square, so we'll make this yellow box bigger. We'll take our new copy, and you can kind of see the, the roughness of the outline, and you could fix that. So what we need to do is take that item, go to object, and ungroup it. And then if we look here, so everything's ungrouped now. We can fix that black line by taking our shape tool and just deleting that node, deleting that node. And you get a more rounded apple. Uh, we'll check the other side. It's got the same problem. Just take those two nodes and delete them. Now you've got everything ungrouped so the boundary tool will work. And let's see how big this thing is. It's less than four inches. We'll, just, we'll set our nudge factor on four. We're gonna select it all. And there's actually another little part right there, but we don't need to fix it for the video. And I'm going to put a boundary around it. Then I'm going to nudge that over. There's your outline to cut that out if you're a vinyl cutter or something like that. Now, if you wanted a little bit of material left on that product, then you just go to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the outside. Let's just go like 0.1. See what happens. Whoa, I must have been on the yellow box. So let's back up here. Let's grab our shape. See, that's a little, that might be too much for you. So you can always go 0 0.05, which will be half of that, and hit apply. And then go up to object and break the contour apart. And then you can grab one of these. And if you look, we've grabbed the black one. So now we can just nudge it over our picture. And I would always, as a laser engraver anyway, I'd make it red and make sure it's a hairline so you recognize it as a, as a contour. Now, if you look, there's a little bit of sharp cornering on there. So if we back up this time, and before we contour it, if we use rounded corners, it's going to make a more rounded corner on your corner. Same thing, object break contour apart, get the pick tool, grab that black, and you can see we got black. If we grab the red, it's gonna say red. We don't want that. We can actually delete it, move that over, make it red, make sure it's a hairline, and then move it over. So now we have a lot more rounded corners. And there's a little bit of cleanup I would do on this drawing also. You know, it's the same thing that you could do, you know, like that, you could maybe bring that down to have more of an outline. Get rid of that little doodad right there. Maybe get rid of that one. Take your node and just kind of bring it out a little bit. Of course, I would do that for your contour, and then your contour is gonna be a lot more even. This is a pretty cool file. You know, you could change the color of thing, make that a right bright red, you know, make it a yellow if you wanted to, um, make it a pink, because the colors are broken up pretty well. So yes, you can put a contour and a boundary around a PNG file. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.